Hello, I welcome you once more to SDS uh, Tooth Center. Uh, that's our tutorial center. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you've not done that. Uh, in our previous videos, I will be able to teach you how to calculate the total score for these three students peter paul and ada uh, that offer three subjects english maths and uh, Igbo. Uh, these are their various uh, scores and the subjects so we've taught you how to calculate uh, total score and then how to calculate the average score and how to calculate the grade we've been able to teach you all that uh, today we'll be looking at how we can calculate the positions of the students so we'll be able to know which of the students uh, came first second and uh, third uh, so we will start off like I told you before uh, we start our calculations with equal sign uh, in the case we're going to use the function called rank so using this rank, we are going to rank our students based on their average. Like I told you, uh, when we calculated the grade, we, you can uh, rank uh, your students based on their average. You can also rank them based on their total score. Uh, but in this uh, tutorial, we're going to be looking at ranking based on average. So, our average here is J3 for Peter. Peter's average is J3. So, uh, we're going to use the function called rank. So, equal to rank. Okay, let me use capital letter uh, to be consistent. So, equal to rank, open bracket. Uh, we want, we're going to rank what J3. That is a Peter. We're going to look at Peter's position. In this amongst the three uh, students at uh, j3 comma uh, I want the system to consider the ranking rank uh, Peter uh, among these three students from Peter to Ada so uh, equal to that the operator of ranking is dollar sign so dollar sign j dollar sign three column dollar sign j dollar sign five ah uh, yes we close the the bracket so here what actually you can see he has rounded up the values of uh, the array of data that are going to be ranked here we are looking at we're trying to find out peter's position amongst these uh, three students um that's why we're using j3 rank is the function dollar sign is the operator so uh, if you rank j3 peter's uh, average starting from peter's average to covering peter's average to ada's average as you can see j5 here is ada's average so then after you finish typing you press your enter key or your return key so you can see peter is uh, on the second position so you drag down you see the first person is the person who took the person who took first is uh is having 82.7 uh in average the person that came second is having 63.3 in the average and the third person is having 44.7 in average so you can see how pretty simple you can use Microsoft Excel uh, to calculate your school's uh, student result, your class student result, and do so much more other interesting stuff. 
that's going to help your school your businesses and your offices so don't forget to if you have not don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channels who have loads of more other interesting topics that we're going to teach you on uh, microsoft excel and the other areas of life this is the sds tooth center where you are going to learn a lot of things so click on subscribe if you have not done that and have a nice time thank you